Combat Wrestling fans, welcome to Combat Zone Wrestling Presents Hires, Flyers, and Wrestling. Tonight, you're going to see some of the greatest high flyers in all of pro wrestling, daredevil techniques, all kinds of great things, and we're starting off with TJ Crawford versus Gabriel Sky, two youngsters in the Combat Zone looking to make their name here for CCW fans, and I know that you're going to enjoy this one. Let's get down to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Windy City Kid, TJ Croft. And tonight, I make my official CZW debut. Now, see, I see here in the combat zone, we got some young guys. The one guy that I got my eyes on is Gabriel Sky. Now, see, Gabe, you've been making a name for yourself in CZW and all up and down the Northeast. That is, ever since Tristan got hurt. See, it's time for the tide to change here at CZW. It's time for the Windy City Kid, TJ Crawford, to blow through the doors of CZW. And you heard TJ say it, the Windy City Kid is going to blow through CZW, and he makes his way towards our ring. This is the black and yellow, and you see right there, TJ Crawford, the Windy City Kid. Now again, this is his debut in Combat Zone Wrestling, so I don't know a lot about him past his reputation. Known as a high flyer, known as um, uh, an up and coming star from the Midwest. I'm very excited to see what he can do here in the black and yellow ring. This match uh, filmed during COVID time. You see there's no audience present, except for staff that have been tested and are all negative. But this is not gonna be negative right here. This is all positive. One half of above the rest. Yeah, there he goes. Gabriel Sky repping his tag team partner, uh, Tristan, who unfortunately uh, got an injury that will have him out for the better part of a year. But Gabriel Sky, it won't be here in Combat Zone Wrestling, ready to go. And I can tell you what we've seen of this man, uh, typically in a tag team, but an amazing high flyer, amazing athlete, and, and to be quite honest, a, a great young man to work with backstage. Uh, nary a problem out of the guy. Um, I'm excited. These are two young people that just want to show how good they are in the black and yellow ring of Combat Zone Wrestling. Fans, you're in for a treat. This is CZW's Highest Flyers in Wrestling, and we promise when we see the Highest Flyers, we mean it. <laughs> Can't even check out a referee without a little, a little flying there, a little resorte. Let's get down for ringside action. All right, here we go. Tell me a little bit about what it means for the new viewer to CZW. What can they expect to see? CZW is literally the buffet table of pro wrestling. We have a little bit of everything. You're going to see some high flying and some sportsmanship. Nice. I'm not a fan of sportsmanship for the record. I, I believe in. Oh, there you go. You okay. like that? There we go. I love that. Over quick on its schoolboy. Continue, please, as the action gets going. So like I said, what's really important about Combat Zone is we have a little bit of everything. Right now you're seeing some high flying, some quick moving guys. You're going to see some hardcore action. You're going to see some fun guys. You're going to see some ladies. Everything here in the Combat Zone buffet. Slipping through and then a knife edge chopped there by Sky. Locks hands, places himself on his opponent's trap. That gives him a base. Lucha Libre-esque on display there. Whoa. Springboard, but how about TJ Crawford? Not to be outdone. Block kick. Kick is checked there. Crawford throws. Sky throws. Both men look and we have a moment. Our first moment here tonight on CZ Duck. Right now, fans, this is what Combat Zen Wrestling is all about, and I might actually have to pay this TJ Crawford kid now. Take a good look at the Windy City kid, TJ Crawford. The world will get to know his name as Gabriel Sky got to know a boot and then an elbow. Now a kick, a leg trip. Down goes Crawford. Sky on the move. Ropes for momentum. Back kick. Crawford is up, clutching at his chin. Sky needs to maximize here this opportunity. And that's what he didn't do. He took too long, sitting in the corner, used to having a tag team partner to uh, goad him on. But here he comes over top. And now, oh, nice kick there with Sky. Cover here. Just Only a one, one count. there. Like how Crawford gets his shoulders up off the mat. Crawford favoring his jaw there. Let's see what Sky does with this. And you hear right now, we've got some of our performers in the background watching matches because they too love wrestling. And look at these kicks that Sky's just laying in. Look how red his chest is already. Great work by our camera people. Oh. This is why I'm not a wrestler, just for the record, right here. <laughs> Fair enough. Rip oh, nice evasion. through there. Crawford with a knife edge chop. Shot almost to the liver there. Big back elbow, speed kick, and Crawford 
huge combination wrestler. Both of these fighters displaying a very similar skill set. It seems that Sky may have the advantage in the high flying. Crawford may have the advantage in the in the grit. Absolutely, Crawford must more of a striker. Picks the man up, just holds him. Look at the strength. Core strength of both and fighters squats. on this. A oh. little bit of personality from Crawford. Needs to go for a cover quickly. Nicely done. No. I like what Crawford does there. He takes advantage of what his opponent gives him. Absolutely. Smart wrestling there by TJ Crawford. Gabriel Sky, though, this is where being a tag team competitor may hurt him. You see him going to the ropes looking for Tristan, and Tristan's not here. He's got a knee injury. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Hard shots here, and it goes to show you the state of wrestling right now. Two young guys have an opportunity where the rest of the world is sitting at home. These two young guys have an opportunity to be shown to the world. Absolutely, and Sky with reversal. He does not want to walk out of here with another <sighs> loss to CZW. Nice. Sky's had a little problem uh, getting himself started as a singles competitor. Lost last month to Aaron Ash. Uh, and, and Aaron's oh boy. Like, whoa. <clears throat> Ouch. Oh. I love the striking ability of both of these fighters here. I love the spirit. Look at Sky just coming right back. Sky with a boot scrape there. Has to be careful not to pull a hamstring. Sky now has to fill in space. Gets caught. Crawford sends Sky in. Oh. Ooh, jumping kick behind the ear. And look at Sky, though. He will not quit, but neither will Crawford. And this is why we have medical staff on hands, fans. Not just <laughs> for what's going on in the world, because these guys are going to oh. Nice follow in there by Sky. Can Sky take advantage of the opportunity? Crawford on the redirection. High knee. The only thing keeping Sky up are the ropes. Let's see what Crawford does with him. Slips out. May have taken too long. You fell. Oh. oh no. Crawford saying this is it, and I believe him. Crawford. Combo wrestler, combination after combination. Is it enough? No! I, I, I gotta say I'm surprised. I really thought that Sky was done. I thought Crawford had him. You can see that Crawford himself has exhausted himself. He, he's still on the mat laying down just uh, like Sky. And you see the referee now giving the standing 10 count. And here we go, both men making their way through their knees. Look at the face of Sky. Now fighting spirit comes alive here. Appropriate way to kick off the night. And this right here, this exchange is how important being a winner at Combat Zone Wrestling's inaugural Saturday Night Special is to both these men. Just hard strikes to the face back and forth, neither man giving an inch. You know, and from a fighting perspective, Crawford has more body oh. weight. Whoa, snap! Sky with nothing more than adrenaline. Ducks through, perhaps there's more left. Sky with the ripcord knee. And right now, I, I literally am standing in disbelief as Gabriel Sky, I swore he had that one. I, I mean, I mean, this is what it means to be a CGW competitor. The combat zone is not just a name. This is a war zone where two men, two women, 10, 30, whatever amount of people are in the match, go to literal war. Oh, strike there to the quad. That will definitely impede the ability to climb. Tucking the head. Crawford has bad intentions here. Oh. Strike again. Ooh. Nice combination there as Crawford continues to display an ability to string together maneuvers. That's been the difference here. As Sky is caught, hung up, nobody there. Was able to untie himself, and now Gabriel Sky doing what he does best, that high flying. Double stop to the back of the head. That will nearly paralyze, immobilize. He got him. And there we go. Gabriel Sky proving that he is indeed above the rest. No pun intended. But Gabe Sky with the victory there. And I've got to say, an amazing, amazing young man, amazing talent, someone I'm very proud to say that, uh, uh, you know, that, 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 that I've had the honor and privilege of knowing here in Combat Zone Wrestling since his uh, debut uh, about a year or so ago. This young man, time tested in the combat zone. A year in the combat zone is like five years anywhere else, let me tell you, fans. High flyer by nature, Gabriel Sky. But it's not over yet, and you've got Matt McIntosh, Casey Navarro, Gabriel Sky, Chris Bischoff, and Leon Ruff.
all about to make their way into the black and yellow ring. This is going to be one hell of a matchup. And there he is, the blessed one, Casey Navarro, flanked by Gino Gox. There's Boom Harden, looks like Theo there, and Aaron Ash, and uh, Jay Fry, his, his publicist, I believe, is his official title. But they've got so many people in this, in this crew. This is a five-man matchup, and all four of his opponents are going to have to watch every member of Blessed on the outside, and this big Aaron Ash is the scariest one to me. And there he is, the Ryan Apple, Matt McIntosh. I assume that he is going to be uh, uh, you know, a star in pro wrestling. This guy has proven himself time and time again. You know, they call him a rotten apple, but I've got to say he's one of the more uh, polished performers I've seen, not just in combat zone wrestling, but all up and down the East Coast of these United States. And there he is, Leon Ruff, a man who you may have seen some uh, internet wrestling press on recently, some great news coming his way, and we are proud of him and proud that he was in the combat zone. And it's party time for Leon Ruff. A man uh, very well associated with A.R. Fox, or fans familiar with that name. This young man here is, is the perennial high flyer and perennial party guy. Look at him, just having fun as it goes. Won't be fun in about three minutes when this match starts, but, uh, you know, hey, there he is, Leon Ruff, <laughs> just having a seat. Nip up, there he goes. And there's a man I know very, very well, Chris Bishop, the third member of the rep that a lot of people, uh, you know, they discredit him because he's not Nader Dave. He hasn't held gold in CW yet, but I can tell you that he's a hell of an athlete. And you saw him just about 10 minutes ago, Gabriel Sky, still above the rest. This is how he's trying to make a name for himself. Your partner gets hurt, you still gotta eat. You can't, uh, you know, sit at home and not wrestle if this is how you make a living. So Gabe Sky making his way to the black and yellow ring. There goes all blessed, whoa. Based off of the big man, Aaron Ash, a former uh, Dojo Wars Medal of Valor champion. Very tough young man. Hopefully won't be a, a factor in this match So these five men get it on in the combat zone as CZW presents Highest Flyers in Wrestling. But now, I mean, Gabriel Sky is in here. Like, now he finds himself in singles competition. Uh, it's gonna be a weird transition, especially in a matchup like this, when you have not just one opponent, not just two, not three, but you got four opponents to worry about. You're by yourself. You're used to being in a tag team. Uh, Gabriel Sky, he's gonna have to really find a miracle, I think. Yeah, and if you're uh, Jordan Oliver or A.R. Fox, one of those two men, going to go on to face one of these guys. And look at this. The entirety of the blessings have now made their way into the ring. Oh. Well, there they go. Yep. They, they didn't stand much of a chance. Grand opening, grand closing, as they say. Well, if you're going to bring all those guys to the ring, you better make sure they're, they can handle you. Hey, did you, did you take more than just that, uh, that one kick? Oh, jeez. Now Chris Bishop. Oh, to the outside. After Matt McIntosh. Yeah, that was a uh, Chris Bishop. You, you has a little retribution on the mind for Matt McIntosh, I'm sure. Absolutely. Those two went at it. Now we're getting a look at the uh, at the next gen. Yeah, these guys. I mean, <laughs> they talk about high flyers. These guys are ridiculous with oh, yeah. it. Leon Ruff. Wait, where's whoa, that? whoa, whoa, whoa. Gabriel Sky Where, don't even know where's where he's he going. Leon Ruff. Good God, stop picking the teeth out of Gabriel Sky. And look at this guy, KC Navarro. Look at that, putting the bad mouth on Ruff as well. I mean, I remember when KC Navarro first started coming around this sport. Nice, young, humble man. Yeah. Now what? He's blessed and he acts like that. I don't understand. I don't understand his change of attitude. Yeah, well, Kid Christian is long gone. KC Navarro lives on. And look at this. The speed, the agility. Oh, but Leon Ruff wisely able to counter. Very nimble. <laughs> KC Navarro. I'd love to see these two go one-on-one one day. 
look. I mean, I mean if you're going to get this championship, you got to eliminate folks some way or another. It's kind of a shitty thing to do. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. No. All around. No. Chris Bishop, baby, put the boots to it. You see Casey Navarro's head just bounce off of the canvas. Double stops there by Chris Bishop. Bishop. We got a little bit of break dancing going on here. That's right. Right to the leg drop. The missing ingredient, Chris Bishop. Oh, down to the knee. Rolls through. Oh, missed the kick. McIntosh had it scouted. Underneath. And McIntosh. McIntosh. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, that rule. That was, was I love Bishop. it. More of that, please. Yes. McIntosh oh, jumping that. over. Look at the athleticism of Matt McIntosh. Cartwheel. Oh, big kick to the face of Chris Bishop from Matt McIntosh. McIntosh, oh! Nice shooter. Beautiful. He should have been him. He should have tried to go for the penitent. There's nobody really around, but here comes Gabriel Sky now. And, and I started to say wisely, Chris Bishop rolls his way to the outside, but again, unless you're the one making the pin or submitting someone, you do not win this match. This is not elimination style. Whoa. Counter and counter, back and forth. Into Gabriel the, Sky. To the Rana with the rope assistance. Kick to the bridge of the nose there, it looked like. And now Gabriel Sky looking to. Oh, he slipped up on the middle rope there. Yeah, a bit of a lower drop kick as a result. Yeah. Effective he, nonetheless. I mean, yeah, but if he was able to get more of that drop kick, if he didn't slip there, he, he might have been able to pick up the victory. That's the thing. It's. it's, it's, it's a matter of, uh, it's, it's the little things is what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> as uh, I was watching the precarious nature of what just happened there to Gabriel Sky, I saw Casey Navarro creeping up on the outside. Okay. Casey Navarro going for the suicide. Oh, you. Okay. Yeah, he's a bit of a dick. But look at this. Chris Bishop taking out everyone, and Aaron has the steering on. And Chris Bishop, and Chris Bishop talking that mess. He's playing a white team. You got the blessings. Dino Gatz is down. Somebody please help up Dino Gatz. Well, he's going to need help to get up. I feel like he's a little bop head. To say the least. And now Gabriel Sky going to work. For Chris Bishop as Casey Navarro and Matt McIntosh in the ring. Oh, up and over goes Casey Navarro. No members of the entourage. I'm going to say, none of the blessings caught him. If you got that many guys and nobody catches it, you got to get new guys. You really have. Here comes McIntosh. Whoa. Taking out the entire field of blessings. It's Matt McIntosh, and that's how you want to jump in the blessings in 2020. Yeah, yeah but at this time, you know what? Pick up one of them and chuck them in the ring and pin them. Win this sucker. Get that wired championship opportunity. Oh, shoot. Damn, bro. Oh, my God. Guy almost kicked the face right off of Leon Ruff's skull. Sheesh. Gabriel Sky has put in so much work now to earn this opportunity. Oh, jeez. Gabriel Sky. Oh! Moonsault again, Above taking the out the entire rest field. All motherfucking day! In case you were wondering for how long. Now, this is the right thing to do. Pitch somebody in there, trying to get the win, but... Leon Ruff able to get that right shoulder up. Yeah, you got to stay on him now. Of course, Tristan Ty recovering from surgery. Want to wish him the best in a, and, of course, a speedy recovery. Please. Love to see a bump. What the hell? Action, Leon Ruff! I've never seen that! Yo, he just did an upside-down m Dog 20. Oh, man, right to the midsection, pop up by Chris Bishop. And now Casey Navarro. 
Yes. Oh. I poke it. Of course. Smart. I, it, it's smart. No, no. You can get away with it. Navarro has found a second level of confidence. I mean, we remember a year ago when he faced off for the Wired Championship. He yeah. was not the, he's not the same guy. Yeah. Definitely not. Oh. Gabriel Sky caught in midair by Matt McIntosh. McIntosh saw him coming. Oh, Sky able to get out of it. Oh. He gets to Gary to the back of the head. Gabriel Sky, did he get it done? Oh, what's that? You want to run? You want to run? Casey Navarro. You can be blessed, bro. Banging off into the corner here. Absolutely. Why the hell is Dino Gatz in the ring? What's he doing? He doesn't belong in there. Not a good place to be. This has nothing to do with merchandising. Well, that's what he does? Yeah, he's the head of merchandising. He's got the entire, the whole squad out here. Gabriel Sky is going to fly. Gabriel Up top. Sky, oh. Navarro able to use that quickness to get out of it. TNA kick. Right to the midsection there of Casey Navarro, the blessed Casey Navarro. What the? Wait a second. Whoa. Oh, Navarro able to just hang on. Oh my God. Cover. One, two, Gabriel Sky. Oh. Almost had a new number one contender to that wire championship. I tell you what, that would be a way to get yourself solidified in the singles ranks. Absolutely, and now the bad apple. About to be on a receiving Whoa. end, able to counter it. Nice transition. Big buckle bomb. Hangs up. Oh my God. Cover, one, two. Ruff able to break it up. Yeah, and if Ruff wasn't there, oh. We'd be hearing uh, Matt McIntosh's music playing right now. Absolutely. Oh, Underneath. Yeah. Oh. The bad apple Matt McIntosh looking to become yeah. the number one contender to the Wire Championship. Has Leon Ruff up. Oh. I was able to kick out of it. Leon Ruff. Oh, man. Leon Ruff went for everything and got nothing. Yeah, you got to see what you want to hit there. Took his eyes off the target and paid dearly for it. Now yeah. the bad apple. Oh. oh. Found himself a knee strike. It's not what he was originally going for, but something nonetheless. Leon Ruff again. Telegraphing these maneuvers is Leon Ruff. Did, tell me he did that to sucker him in. Please, please tell me yeah, that. Yeah, that's totally what it was. I, I'll go with it. I hope that's what that was. Why not? Chris Bishop going after Leon Ruff. Big forearm. Fuck you. I'll tell you, he's a, he's a roughneck, this Chris yeah, Bishop. I mean, you don't have to wonder what he's thinking at any moment. No. Well, Leon look Ruff. at that. Oh. Quick for him, up and over. Leon Ruff, oh! Hits right. it that time. Finally got something, did Leon Ruff. And now Ruff, looks like he's heading to the top turnbuckle. Leon Ruff, oh! Beautiful swanton cover, one, two, Leon Ruff. Oh. Who was that? Is that Maven Bentley? Maven Bentley, the president of the combat zone. Up in the face of Boom Harper. What the hell? Like you said, Maven Bentley wants to get in the good race of the Chris Bishop. It's not happening, Leon. Oh my God. Ruff is down. Casey Navarro, big frog splash. Cover one, two. Casey Navarro is the number one contender for the Wired Championship. And there he is, the Sky Reaper, as he's called, Casey Navarro, picking up the victory after Bless does their job, you know, uh, distracting a lot of people, including a very handsome bald man in a suit jacket. Yeah, Casey Navarro 
This man opened up a Cage of Death show a couple years back in the old ECW arena and uh, just stole the show and, and will continue to steal shows all around the United States. You know, don't let his dominion of size fool you. That man is a champion in the making. And we're not done yet, fans. We've got Air Fox versus Jordan Oliver, Air Fox the perennial high flyer, and young Jordan Oliver, the new upstart. This is gonna be one hell of a matchup, old versus new, generational battle. And here he is, Air Fox, the man who's held the CZW Wired Champion on multiple occasions, about to take on the current champion. And, and Air Fox is literally just a party waiting to happen. Many of you fans have seen him on national television before. You know, th this guy, literally one of the uh, greatest athletes I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. And I, and I say that with no exaggeration. And this is a natural athlete. And this here, you know, um, don't let this guy's look and size fool you. Uh, Colin West once said this man looks like an angry lesbian. I tried to take the prom. And that line will always be in my head when I see him. But don't let his look fool you, because Jordan Oliver, despite his goofy size, despite his goofy little headbands, this kid can go in the ring. And he wouldn't have that wire championship belt if he couldn't go. Fans, you're in for an absolute treat. This is Air Fox versus Jordan Oliver. He has tasted defeat only once, and that was at the hands of John Silver in the best of the best tournament. There you see it, the Wire Championship being held high in the sky by senior official Nick Papa Giorgio. And let me tell you something, Khalif. Uh, this is a matchup that ever since, you know, when it was announced, I got very excited for. Uh, you know, it's kind of weird to say it, uh, but it's sort of like a clashing of the generations of CZW. It, yeah. it, it's weird to feel that way about AR Fox, but he really is an elder statesman here. He's been around for uh, close to a decade, off and on. Meanwhile, Jordan Oliver relatively uh, uh, fresh in his career. Yeah, he's still very new to the business. I don't know but, but I mean, he's had a lot of success, as you as you mentioned. Oh. Whoa. There's a bit of an unorthodox way of making sure that you don't get nailed by A.R. Fox, but wise nonetheless to the midsection there. Oliver made his debut with in CZW with Young, Dumb, and Broke in June of 2018 and has been on a tear ever since. Oh, look at Fox. Look at the way he rolled right in. Look at the athleticism. The butt kick to the midsection. Look at what in the world was that? The counter there by Jordan Oliver. Yo, if he would have nailed that kick, that would have been like uh, that Showtime kick, Anthony Pettis. That would, yeah, man, that would have been highlight reel for the next for the for the 2020s. I mean, this is a kid. He's only what 20, 21 years old, uh, and he's, he's light years ahead of where he should be. I'm gonna say he's 21, just in case. I think 21's, that's a good one. I mean, if he isn't, he isn't, whatever. I think he's 21, fuck it. And they are Fox riling up the crowd here. Why I feel, I feel weird guessing ages of people, <laughs> considering of who we're sitting next to at the vending table. Well, was, uh, that Riff. being said, that being said, Jordan Oliver, this has been in his wheelhouse. This is what he does. He breaks the momentum of his opponent, and this is his means of controlling the speed of his, of his wire title defenses. Brilliant move from this young man. And, you know, he's been doing a lot of that as his title reign has progressed. I mean, he's really found a way to, uh, to, to really set the pace and tone. Uh, you know, when, when it gets uh, out of his control, Rolls to the outside, slows things down. Gets under the skin of his opponent, because we know A.R. Fox, he's go, 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 all the time. Uh, you start to, you know, cut that up. You start to make that a little bit choppy. A.R. Fox doesn't wrestle as well. Right. 
Now, as you can see it right there, but good cut right to the sternum there of Jordan Oliver went AR Fox. Fox now off the ropes. Oliver meets him. Whoa, look at the awareness there. Shoulder to the midsection, AR Fox rolling through, big kick to the back of the head of the wire champion. Look at that, AR Fox in great shape. Oh, heavy shot. Crowd chanting A for AR Fox. See the clothesline in the corner there. Jordan Oliver in a rough position. Oh! We've Skip seen, the cap. Yeah, we've seen that out of AR Fox time and again over his tenure here in the combat zone. Nobody else can do it yeah. quite like he does. Oh, oh, face first. Elevated flatliner of sorts, I suppose. Back press with the far leg hook. And it seems like we say this every month, but this could be the, the biggest threat right now to Jordan Oliver's championship reign. <laughs> and he always seems to get through it. Get your punk ass up. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of bat mouth. Right, Fox. Hey, you gotta get that punk ass up. Oh. Look at that takedown. Yeah, man. Like I said, nobody does it like AR Fox, man. Good lower body. Oh. Went over. Came down heavy on his uh, upper back. Awkward landing. Came down like a sack of dirty laundry. <laughs> back in the college days. Oh, to the back of the skull. With the Matthew. <laughs> Jordan Oliver from the far side of the ring. Oliver, Tope Suicida. Driving Fox into the guardrail. Yeah, I like that from, from Oliver. Not only did he dive into AR Fox, but when he made impact, he made sure to push AR Fox back first into the barricades. Right. Some of the CZW faithful putting the bad mouth to AR Fox. Big chop to the challenger from the champion. Kind of surprised that so many people are clapping for Jordan Oliver right there. Well, yeah, I think that's I think that's out of respect. I, I think that you got to respect the hustle of this young man. He's been all over the place defending that that wired championship. Ar Fox looks like he's in a bad way. You see the way he's limping. Ooh. I don't know what happened, but Ar Fox is not moving around all that well on a vertical base. Jordan Oliver. Taking his time, big drop kick to the side of the skull of A.R. Fox. I'll tell you what, this is a golden opportunity for Jordan Oliver if he up, notices it and he can take advantage of it. Because if you're in the ring with A.R. Fox and he doesn't have his leg strength, uh, it becomes increasingly easier for you to win the match. Yeah, much more winnable situation. Wisely, Oliver going to roll Fox into the ring. Think about how much of the offense from AR Fox is generated from his leg strength, whether it's running, jumping, leaping, uh, just basing and, and, and able to hoist somebody up over his head. And you can see Fox favoring that, that, that leg. And Jordan Oliver. The disrespect, look at that. Oh, this is nothing but disrespect. He's made of disrespect. Oh. Chop to the challenger again. You're gonna have to hit Fox a little bit harder. Ooh, Fox with lefts and rights. Fox not able to move the way that he needs to. Moving well enough, well, or at least he was for a moment to get Jordan Oliver onto the apron. What? Oh, man! AR Fox is inhuman. <laughs> Just the speed, the time and the quickness. On a bad leg. On a bad leg. And he made it look easy. And now Fox, vertical again. You should have seen the way I tried to get out of bed this morning. It was <laughs> difficult. He, AR Fox, did all that like it was nothing. Unreal. No! Oh. Back elbow from Fox. Yeah, Oliver on the apron there. Oh. Look at Fox. No! AR Fox and Zagiri. Oh, and now, and now this is where the numbers game comes into play. Young, dumb, and broke. 
out here to create the distraction. Fox up and over into Charlie Tiger, Griffin McCoy, and Ellis Taylor. Quite honestly, I'm kind of surprised it took this long for them to get out here. I'm surprised that Jordan Oliver was actually shooting the fair one for as long as he did with Fox. Big facts. I mean, that's been the story of his title reign. Can you get it done on your own? Now, Nick Papa Giorgio sending the rest of Young Dumb and Brooke. Wait, where is AR Fox going? Jordan Oliver's on the outside of the damn room. Oh! Coast to coast. Barely caught him there, but got enough of it. Got with the toe tips. That's right. AR Fox. This is him on a bad wheel. Yeah, man. God. On top. Oh! Santana Tomico. AR Fox got all of that one. one Back press. Two, near leg. Oh! oh. oh. We almost had a new champ lead. <laughs> the whole title range just flashed before his eyes. He's in black and white. Oddly enough. Air Fox now going to take some time to regroup and re strategize, but don't give Jordan Oliver too much time. And look, Fox still hobbling. He's been able to uncork some of that offense still on that bad leg. And he's superhuman. Oh, my God, the impact. Oh, into the apron, into the canvas. Oh, big cutter onto the champion. Roll up, cover one, two. Oh, Jordan Oliver again, the ring awareness, grabbing that bottom rope, realized he didn't have the energy to kick out. Did the smart thing and got out of it. I don't think AR Fox realized how close Jordan Oliver's uh, arms were to the ropes there, or else he would have likely pulled Jordan Oliver in a little bit before going over with a jackknife pin. But another thing, uh, Jordan Oliver's limbs are very long, lanky. If you're not used to that, uh, not a lot of wrestlers have limbs as long as Jordan Oliver. He's able to reach out just a little bit further. Oh, small package, cover one, two. It can happen just that quickly. One of these guys will go on to face Casey Navarro. Mm. And either one of those matches is going to be. Oh. There we go. Oh, got a handful of tights there, Rev. Oh. Right in the chin. They are foxes, dazed. Again with the two count. And Oliver's in a state of disbelief. Gonna take a little bit more to take out AR Fox. Make sure you got all your teeth there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> this has been a back and forth battle. It really has. Fox now. He's trying to get out of this waist lock and he's Turning into it. Yep, there you go. Oh. And Zagiri. Back of the head there of the the wire champion. He's the first of three championship matches. Jordan Oliver is vertical. Jordan Oliver from the far side. Oh, got caught with a super kick on the apron. Jordan Oliver was trying to go for something. I'm not sure what. He paid dearly. Oh. Look at the resilience. Oh, Help. about it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what are no. you doing? No, 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 no. Oh, God. Apron tombstone. Not a lot of real estate to work with out there. Not at all. Able to get it done, though, is the champion. Oliver now. Setting up for it looks like a, a package pile driver. Sat out with it instead. Driving the wind out of AR Fox's body. And try to get a win there. He had both legs hooked. I mean, that's I mean, it's what you gotta do. High impact move with a immediate pinning combination right on top of that, but 
You got to get the right combination of move and pin attempt. And now Fox grabbing that left leg again. And against somebody like A.R. Fox, I mean, we one of the most resilient wrestlers we've ever seen in this uh, combat zone wrestling. Oliver, slingshot. Oh, for the land. Rolled through it, got caught with that boot. By the challenger. Oh, my God. Did you hear that? I heard it. Luckily for me, I didn't feel it. But Jordan Oliver felt all of it. Combat zone wants it again. Here comes Fox. Oh! Got a running start. Like a bicycle kick that time. And can he feel it slipping away? Does Jordan Oliver feel his reign coming to an end? Go for low main pain. Whoa, whoa. Oliver able to hold on. Yeah, AR Fox didn't have the spring in his legs necessary to pull off that move. Oh, lost in the sauce from three quarters of the ring. Throw, oh my God, he kicked out. How the hell did AR Fox kick out of that? I can't think of anybody who's who's been able to kick out of that from, from Jordan Oliver. I mean. AR Fox is superhuman. Now Jordan Oliver is really thinking, what's he got to do? His, his entourage is gone. His best move didn't do the trick. Now what? Keep fighting. That's the only way you're going to wake up as a wire champion tomorrow. Oh, rough position. Oh, right between the shoulder blades that time. It's not good. Not Wait. Good for the champion. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, my God. Low main German. AR Fox to the top rope. Could this be it? AR Fox. 50. He got oh, all of that one, one two. And you'll see the streamers hit the ring as AR Fox becomes the new CZW World Wire Champion. Fans, this is going to keep going. We've got Stockade versus the bad, bad boy, Joey Janela. Now, I'm going to tell you, when you see Stockade, you're going to say, this is a high flyer. I guarantee there's some flying in this match that you wouldn't expect. And Joey Janela, again, if there's anything to be said, is he hasn't found something he won't jump off of. But what you may want to jump off of is the uh, disciples of Father Matt Tremont. There he is leading Stockade to the ring. The father of Ultra Violence and Combat Zone, as he likes to call himself. I will give Tremont credit. He did carry the Ultra Violent banner when Nick Gage uh, was incarcerated and couldn't do so. Stockade behind him, one of his loyal followers. And, and, and Stockade, I'll, I'll be honest with you, is a very scary, scary man. You know, about 300 pounds of, of violence and anger. And he's not afraid to mix it up with uh, the high flyers. Stockade, known mostly as a deathmatch performer, but fans don't get it confused. Stockade has no fear of heights and no fear of Joey Janela. Stockade just waiting for his victim. And that's how he sees it, his victim. And here he comes to the ring, fans. One of the most popular men on all professional wrestling, Joseph Janela. And Joey gives the finger point. Joey uh, kissing rubber chickens. Rubber chickens, uh, the perennial favorite of Whack Packer Hogan, a fan for a long time, so unfortunately passed before his time. And there goes Joey Janela, Asbury Park Hardcore, as he likes to say, from Asbury Park. This young man has had a tumultuous ride in the world of pro wrestling, from being booked as a comedy act that no one respected, to becoming one of the uh, highest flyers in the ring after going through the Combat Zone Wrestling Dojo Wars program. 
Joey uh, definitely beats to his own drum or marches to his own drum or whatever they say. We're going to race with the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, in this contest, one fall, no disqualification for the CCW Wire Championship. Introducing first in the corner to my right, he is the challenger. Fighting out of Monroe, Louisiana, with an official weight of 293 pounds, this is And his opponent, to my left, fighting out of Asbury Park, New Jersey, with an official weight of 190 pounds, he is the current reigning and defending Combat Zone Wrestling Wired Champion, the Bad Boy, Joey Janela! As you can see, Joey Janela is not dressed for a wrestling match. He's dressed for a fight. He wants to take out Stockade for what happened last time here at CZW Awakening. Stockade and, Ma and excuse me, Matthew Tremont handcuffed Joey Janela to the ropes, and then they proceeded to assault and powerbomb his girlfriend, Penelope Ford, in, well, through a coffin. Joey Janela is gonna have to use his speed to his advantage as he sends Stockade to the outside. Joey Janela has a lot on his plate right now. Not only is he defending the CZW Wire Championship, not only has he got to think about keeping his momentum up as he heads into best of the best 16 later this year. Wow. A huge moonsault taking out Stockade. Not only does he have to think about best of the best, but he has to defend the honor of his girlfriend against a man twice, if not three times his size. Joey Janela has a chair handed to him from one of our loyal fans here in the combat zone. As he continues on the attack of Stockade. The number one disciple of father, Matthew Tremont. Janela going around the world. And huge boot to the face. Janela going around the world once again. And once again going for that boot, but there's Stockade to catch the bad boy and driving the bad boy down into that chair. Chop across the chest, that bear-like hand coming down across the chest of the bad boy. And now Stockade looking for some more blunder from underneath the ring. And that is a guardrail he has now. I guess that's in case one of the other guardrails breaks. That's why I would have it under the ring. One would only assume. And clearly Stockade knew it was under there because he is ready to utilize it in a very bad, bad way. Oh, Stockade now! Joey Janelle sidestepping him and sending Stockade into that guardrail. That, uh, I believe, is not what, what Stockade wanted. Absolutely to not. The, the number one disciple of Father Matthew Tremont not looking good right now as Joey Janela going underneath the ring and he finds himself some wood. Okay. Trying to set up that table on the outside here. Joey Janela. Does that get the other one? He's directing traffic out there, demanding Scrawny Shawnee help him out. As Stockade just beginning to stir after 
his whole body just was driven through that guardrail. Janela better move quick though, once Stockade gets up. That beast of a man will have his way with the bad boy, but right now the bad boy staying on the attack. Oh, pulling the shirt off. Oh, God, there's that bear paw across the chest again. Yeah, bear paw, that's a great way to put it. He's got large hands and some serious power behind them, too. I mean, he's got nearly 300 pounds behind those strikes. That table bridging the gap between the guardrails. Janela slips down. Decks him one, decks him with another. Janela trying his best to get Stockade up on that table. That's going to be a that's, much that's, easier that's second quite, Yeah, it's quite the chore. Janela now going back to the entrance, but what does he have? Oh, there's that ladder, that famous ladder from down with the sickness where Joey Janela climbed to regain the CZW Wired Championship. There's a reason why it's called the most exciting championship in all of professional wrestling. And Joey Janela's lost his damn mind, sending himself through the table to take out Stockade. Janela coming crashing down off of what had to be what 10 12 feet in the air at, at the very least because that's a 15 I believe 15 maybe even a 20 foot ladder we got there And he came over that with that senton atomico Right through the the body of stockade the two tables to boot And Janela's up Janela sent in stockade into the ring, going for a pinfall here, two and only a two count. Two count only, says uh, Trooper Autobahn. Janela poised in the corner, here he comes. Charges in with the boot, stockade caught him. Boot from stockade, up and down. He snapped him down from the apex of that power bomb. Stockade now directing traffic. Wait a second. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I made sense of the guardrails, but what the hell are we doing with cinder blocks underneath the ring? Listen, we have some, we have some real winners on the ring crew. Let's just say that. Okay, I get maybe one or two. How many are there? That's enough to build a damn shed out there. What the hell? And they just keep coming. The only thing I can think of is stockade pipe planets in there earlier in the day. Oh my goodness, look at Joe! Oh Jesus Christ! God no! Oh. He almost killed stockade. He almost broke his back to drive Stockade into those cinder blocks. I mean, this is more than about this wired championship. This is about what Stockade and Father Matthew Tremont did to his girlfriend, Penelope Ford, last month when they powerbombed her through a coffin. Uncalled for, by the way. And Joey Janela is just doing what he can to defend his his girlfriend's honor. Oh no, a, no, not a superplex oh, no. on a cinder blocks. No, stop Come it, they, stop this. Stop the madness already. Stop the murder Oh God, no, no. Oh Jesus oh, Christ God. almighty, God almighty. We gotta cover two and three. And fans, I'm only speaking because they make me, because 
Because realistically, I, I don't know what to say after th th that sunset powerbomb on the center block. Joey Janela is victorious. But at what price? My God. Stockade may have broken his back. I mean, I, I know we call this promotion a combat zone because we expect our combatants to, to, to fight as if it's a war. But, but, cinder blocks. My God. Joey Janela with a defiant finger. Wait a second, and here, here comes Matt. The father, Matthew Tremont, making his way to the ring. I know him and Joey Janela have not been friends for quite some time. Matt might be the only person who dislikes Joey more than I do. Oh, the low blow! And here comes Father Matt Trima. And Matt just laying the boots in. Trima laying a beating on Joey Janela, choking the life out of him. with a damn weed whacker. Has she lost her damn mind? Has she learned nothing from awakening? Oh, God. Not again, no. No, God Almighty, no! Oh, Jesus Christ! Spike Pi- excuse me, Spike DDT! Onto those cinder blocks! These two men are absolutely vile! And fans, there you have it. Highest flyers in all of wrestling, Combat Zone Wrestling. Thank you for your purchase, and we'll see you next time in the Combat Zone.